Hey everybody, I got my old buddy the space heater running here, there, wherever, and I hope you guys can't hear that. But anyways, I'm here to talk about a gay student down in the town of Cochran, Georgia, who goes to Blakely County High School, who was recently told that he will be allowed to attend his prom with his boyfriend with no problems. Now, I think this this is truly, I mean, it's just awesome. Because we all know what happened down in Mississippi. Down at uh, Inawamba High School in Fulton, Mississippi, Constance McMillan was not allowed to bring her date to the prom because she is a lesbian, and they made a big, huge deal about it. And she was forced to stand up for herself, and she got national attention because of it. Uh, go a couple of states over to a small rural town in Georgia, and they say, hey, you can bring a same-sex date to the prom if you want to. It's really no problem. And I'm just like, wow, I was blown away when I read this. And I'm really glad that, you know, the principal of this school chose to do the right thing. This goes to show that perhaps Georgia is a little bit ahead of the curve compared to the rest of the South. Uh, at least I would like to believe so. I remember hearing... Justin Ziegler, a, a local gay rights activist in Atlanta, speak at the City Hall rally regarding the raid on the Atlanta Eagle Bar. And he said something to the effect of, what we do in Atlanta trickles down to the rest of the state. And, you know, he's, he's right. I mean, it, what we fight for in Atlanta, uh, the fact that Atlanta is known as a gay mecca, really has influenced a lot of uh, cities around the area, like, you know, Chattanooga, Macon, Savannah. There's pockets, smaller pockets of gay communities coming up, and, you know, people around the metro Atlanta area, because gays are so visible here, more than they are in other parts of the South, people, you know, they realize, hey, I've got a gay family member, so, you know, I can't really be too hardcore Christian conservative. I mean, a lot of these people are still against gay marriage, nonetheless. But I think that the openness nowadays, you know, like I said, makes people realize that, you know, we're here, we're in a lot of people's families, and, you know, you really shouldn't judge us. And, um, it, the, the kid was surprised. His name is Derek, and I would be surprised, too, kind of, if I lived in a small community like that. And um, reading the Advocate article, I mean, the principal, Michelle Masters, she said, quote, you don't have the right to say no. As a principal, I don't judge him. I'm taught not to judge, and I have to push my own beliefs to the background. And that is very true. And, you know, this principal, Michelle Masters, deserves thanks uh, on behalf of the LGBT community of Georgia, and she deserves a lot of praise for doing the right thing and making a good decision. In fact, I'm going to write a letter and send it to perhaps her or the school board. or I'll look for some email addresses. But I'm going to send a letter of thanks. Because, you know, they could have made a big deal about it and said, no, we'll do the same thing as uh, Itawamba did and cancel the prom, but they didn't. They let everything flow smoothly, and they didn't discriminate. So it seems that Itawamba could learn a thing or two from this incident. And like I said, it is very relieving to know that a very positive, inspirational story like this came out of my home state, Georgia.